what's going on guys welcome back to another tutorial in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to achieve this video pop-up just like this i've been seeing this normally on fitness youtube channel and it looks so cool so i was like why don't i show you guys how to achieve this using final Cut Pro 10 without any plugins let's go so we have our videos on our timeline. This is the main video that I'll be showing and the second video is the one that will come in next and will be shown as the next video. So with this, you make a duplicate of this, press Alt and drag upwards. Then we'll drag it on top of this first video we have over here. Let's make this short. So you make it exactly the length that you want. Somewhere here will be okay. Then go to your transform side and the scale will change the size to 30%. Then we just leave it like that. We go to our generator side and the generator we choose solid. Solids we choose custom drag in the middle of the two videos that we have. Somewhere here will be okay. Let's drag this so to be the exact length with the top video that we have. Now it's black. Let's change the color. I think somewhere red will be okay for this tutorial. Looks cool. Then we go to the video inspector side and the transform we change the scroll over there to 34. So now we have something like this. Then go to your titles, and the titles we choose basic title. We choose basic title, we drop it on the top video, we make it exact length with the top video. Click on that. Then we go to our test inspector side, let's change it with this. I think next will be okay. You can choose any font that you want over here. With this, we're gonna maintain the same font. Then we choose bold over here. With the font color, we can choose with this tutorial, I'll go for blue. I want it more colorful. <laughs> you can drag this to somewhere here or anywhere you want it to be. Now make a compound clip of the test, the top video, and then the custom solids that we drop on the timeline. Let's name this Nest. Then go to your transform, click on the box, drag it to the corner of this side let's say somewhere here will be okay now we'll make a keyframe to animate the next compound clip that we made then go to your first frame of the compound clip that we've made we go to position we make a keyframe over there then we can go somewhere in the middle make another keyframe under position then go back to the first keyframe that we made and under y we'll just drag it downwards till it disappears from the screen now go to your next keyframe and then we'll go somewhere in the middle over here. We we'll make another keyframe under position. Then we'll go to the last frame that we have, make another keyframe under position. And this time around, the last keyframe will just drag it back till it disappears from the screen. So later on you can add some sound effect to make this effect really sell and if you really learn something from this or enjoy watching this don't forget to subscribe and also to like this video and also to drop comments in the comment section box below on any video topic you would like to see in the future as always my name is joey love you guys peace out